why and what is the purpose of flying. And um, what came up was to reproduce and to be eaten. <laughs> so and I was thinking, oh my God, how do you mean flying? Seriously, they used it. And I was thinking, okay, spiders eat flies, something eats spiders, and I was like, okay, now I see it. I went to leave it home. It's called the creation home. The birds and the bees, the flowers and seeds, the stars in the sky, the little butterflies, the rivers and the creeks, the cool summer breeze, the clouds and the leaves, the plants and the seeds, everything we see, God made it all. The rabbits and the squirrels, the little boys and girls, our fingers and hands, each woman and man, the dogs and the fleas, the creatures of the deep, the yeast and sheep, yes, even you and me. Everything we see, God made it all. The hippopotamuses and the rhinoceroses, ticks, frogs and bats, lions, worms and gnats, the ducks and geese, the cattle and the sheep, the little chickadees, giraffes with knobby knees. <laughs> Everything we see, God made it all. The elephants and the beavers, the lions and the zebras, ugly crocodiles with its big teeth and pretty smile, the lizards and whales, the skunk with its smile, the, pig with, the pigs with its germs and creepy crawly worms. Everything we see, God made it all. From earth to sky, valleys to mountains high, from canyons deep to the great majestic sea, his handiwork is real, a creator is revealed. You can too believe through the witness of reed. Everything we see, God made it all. Mm.